Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you all eight colors from the new Le Lyon lipsticks from Chanel and I'm going to share with you my thoughts on this new release from Chanel. So let's go ahead and get started. Before that, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I love talking about luxury beauty and fragrances and I do my best to show you the latest luxury beauty releases and I love to share with you my honest reviews on beauty products. If that sounds interesting, please make sure to subscribe and join our lovely beauty community. Also, don't forget to check out my blog at angelavanrose.com and follow me on Instagram. If you're a returning subscriber, you're very highly appreciated. Thank you so much for your time and for watching my videos. You know how much I love Chanel, so let's go ahead and get started and see all of the swatches. So I hope that um, seeing the swatches is going to help you, especially now when we cannot go to stores. I was able to go to my Chanel boutique and I was able to do all of the swatches for you. So there are eight colors of the new Le Lyon lipsticks from Chanel. So I'm going to show you, first of all, I'm going to show you how the colors look. So I decided to pick one color and then I picked some other products from Chanel that I'm going to show you in a different video. But let me show you how the packaging comes. So this um, is a limited edition release so it's not going to be available it's not going to be around um, for a long time so in case you want to get anything from this collection now is the time to do it so and let me show you the color that I picked for myself so I picked 257 Rouge Triomphal and this is the color that I'm wearing today on my lips and I have been wearing this color for the past six hours just because I wanted to see how it wears, I wanted to see how it feels and I want to give you a good review. So here is the packaging of the new Le Lyon lipsticks. It's the classic Chanel packaging but here we have the embossed lion. Okay and here we have this beautiful click opening like all Chanel lipsticks. And this is the color that I've chosen. So the color that I've chosen is a classic red. Okay guys, so in this last minute or so, I want to show you the swatches in different lighting and I'm gonna be moving in different places. So I don't have filters, I don't have color correction. So these are the colors just as you see them. And right now we are at the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II, which you've seen in my first vlog. From Milan. If you've watched my first vlog from Milan, you should have seen this place um, and you might recognize the floor. So here we are, there is shadow, there is no sunshine or anything. And I'm going to be moving and showing you how the col colors look in different lighting. Okay, so uh, we are now outside the Galleria, we are close to the cathedral and you can see that the colors look a little bit paler because here we have a lot more light. Still, there is no color correction or anything. You are seeing the colors as they look in natural light. And if you see the second color from left to right is 237. So this is the only color that is like it has if you get very close to the color and if you look closely at the lipstick it has those little almost like the smallest glitters that I've ever seen like they're not even glitters but they have some li this color has some little reflective particles it's very interesting color this is the second color from left to right all other colors are matte so all colors are luminous matte and you're not going to see any shimmer on your lips all colors from this collection are luminous matte but still I wanted to mention that 237 the second color from left to right has those really tiny sheen shimmers and here you can see all of the colors in direct sunlight I just thought that it's going to be interesting to see how they look also in the sunshine now my final thoughts on the formulation of these lipsticks I absolutely love the formulation of the lipsticks in my opinion personally this is the same lipstick formula as the camellia lipsticks the matte version of the camellia lipsticks that were released last year and I absolutely adore this lipstick formulation because it's a luminous matte color so 
you have a matte lipstick but at the same time it has some luminosity which I absolutely love and they feel very emollient on the lips. They don't feel drying on the lips. So even if you have sensitive lips I don't think that you're going to have any problems with this lipstick formulation. My only recommendation for Chanel is to extend the shade range because right now we only have red colors and we have two um, kind of beige nude colors that I think will suit. I think the colors in this collection are going to suit all skin tones and anyone can find a perfect shade um, of red. However, I wish there were more shades to choose from and I think that Chanel should definitely extend the shade range. I really like this lovely finishing touch with the lion on top. I love the classic Chanel packaging, I love the formula, so for me this is a win for Chanel. The only recommendation that I have is that they should extend the shade range a little bit because even though I like the colors, I have so many red colors that honestly if it was not for reviewing these lipsticks I was going to skip this release just because I couldn't find a unique color that I wanted to pick from this collection. So there are only red and we have two beige colors. But still, I think that they should definitely play with different colors in 2021 because we've seen so many reds and we all know that Lucia Pica does red colors amazingly well. She's the best at doing red colors, but I have so many reds from Chanel and the two beige colors, they were not exactly, they wouldn't suit perfectly my skin tone in my opinion so that's why I decided to pick a classic red color. So I would love to see more colors from Chanel. So that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, bye.